Good evening, YouTube. Because premium detailed diecast matters, I'm going to do this last video of the day. Second video of the day, last video of the day. Just wanted to recap this awesome Dodge Monaco. The more I look at it, the more I like it. It looks so much better in person than it does on camera. That orange color is awesome. And I love the wheels on it. So... That was an awesome car that came as an extra in a trade and uh, in the middle of making another trade with that same dude Paul Roselle so man I love getting packages from him so anyways the rest of this video <clears throat> is awesome stuff I put these away about a month ago and I put them all back in their packaging and I've just like I haven't closed the box so I and the box is right next to my bed so I sit here every day and stare at them but uh, as I get <clears throat> ready to pack everything up I've already started I know these are gonna be put away to where I can't see them here in a couple days so let's uh, take a quick look at them again here on the channel starting with this Alfa Romeo Montreal has a little bit of a little bit of diorama on the tire. Is one of the things about having a diorama. It's not a big deal though. I mean, if if for all you guys that I've sold to or traded to, I guarantee you all those cars I sent you have been on this diorama at one point or another. And the stuff, you know, the grass is basically static. It just sticks to it. You can blow it off. Same thing with the dirt. But anyways, the brand of this car, one of my favorite brands. I think they're easily one of the best brands uh, when you take into consideration the quality of work that they do along with the detail and the catalog because they have a... They have a great catalog. Probably actually the best catalog outside of Johnny Lightning. Johnny Lightning has an amazing catalog. They just don't do everything well. They do a lot well. But they don't do everything well. Everything Kyosho does is top notch. And this Montreal is no exception to that. Awesome car. Sometimes with Kyosho, they're not the best rollers, but they're not made as toys. These are made as model cars. Most of the time, they roll just fine, but there are some models where they just don't roll. That one rolls, just doesn't roll great. Um, gosh, where do I go next? Another yellow car from Germany. This one rolls great. This right here is the nicest Carmen Ghia I've seen in the scale. Um, the Johnny Lightning that I have would be second. But this thing is just awesome. Awesome detail. All of these Kyosho have prototypical wheels or as some of you prefer, OEM wheels. Um, they all have plastic base. Some of the bases are detailed, some of them are not. This one is kind of in between. Uh, about this one here. Love this car. Ferrari, California. This thing is sharp. They do an amazing job with the Ferraris. Now the Ferraris, because Maisto has the exclusive, they sell these as model kits. You have to assemble them and that is their loophole. That's how they get around that uh, 
exclusive agreement that Ferrari has with Maisto. Um, now all you have to do is pop the seats in, put the interior in the body, and then uh, put the axles in the base and then attach the base to the body. So it's real simple. You don't have to put the headlights on or the, you don't have to put the glass in or the mirrors. Um, there are a lot of pieces on these cars, but you're only putting, you're only dealing with five or six of them when you assemble them. The wheels are already on the axles when you get them, so you don't have to worry about that. But uh, they do a, an amazing job with the Ferraris. I've got a couple more. Well, I've got three more actually that I'm going to show. Uh, here's just a basic car that you probably see just on an average basic trip to Walmart. And you see how awesome of a job they do with this. This is the, the Beetle. Top notch detail. So that right there is an uneven street. Man, it just looks killer. Look at that detail. Amazing. Um, let's see. Yeah. Do have a few more Ferraris, so let's do this one next. This is the 599XX Evo or EVO. The headlights on this car are pretty unreal for a car of this size. But uh, you, with Kyosho, a lot like uh, TLV, sometimes with TLV the car will sit a little bit higher than it should. But there aren't any issues with the wheelbase in relation to the stance with TLD and that's the same thing here with uh, with Kyosho never any wheelbase issues or stance issues um, you can see this thing sits just right I mean it is on the street so they Kyosho pays a lot of attention to detail just as TLD does I love this car. This one is probably going to be pretty hard to see, but uh, man, I love this car. That is a Bentley Continental Super Sports. Amazing casting. I wish I had it in the white because it's like a satin white. I actually just traded away the convertible, but uh, you can see the lines a lot better on the white one. But the black one in person definitely looks better. It's just that the color definitely hides a lot of the car. Look at the grill on that thing. Just a beast of a car. Awesome car. Um, let's see. Let's do another Ferrari. What do we got here? F-355 GTS. They did an amazing job on this casting. It's one of my favorite Ferraris that they do. Thing looks sweet. I was going to use the uh, turntable for this video, but then I thought, you know, I haven't done a Kyosho video with the Street View and all the videos I've done, so I figured I would do that, but yeah, look at how awesome that thing looks. I love it. I 
This is going to be a popular one. This is my favorite Kyosho Ferrari right here. <clears throat> I love this one here. Love it. This is a very difficult car to get right in any scale, let alone 1 to 64 scale. But Kyosho, I don't know how much better you can get than this. I mean, oh, look at the headlights on it. There is a ton of detail in this thing. I do like that car a lot. That is the Ferrari F40. Uh, a little bit of JDM here. This is another car they do an amazing job with. Mazda RX-7. I don't know if this was the Savannah or not. I think this is a second gen RX-7 maybe. And definitely love this one. I would love to see Kyosho. Maybe they even did it. I don't know. But I would love to see this car from Kyosho with some racing livery. Now that front driver wheel, I don't know if the axle's bent or what, but a little wonky. It still looks great. I love this car. I, they, I've got a lot of JDM stuff from Kyosho and a lot of European stuff. They do a great job on all of it. Um, here is a Porsche. 911 RS and it's another one I just love it I mean it just looks so good everything about this car looks so good the scale the proportions the detail the stance the wheels the spoiler every little detail looks great Now, the thing with Kyosho, I don't know much about these import companies. I know with TLV, they bring out just a few models a month. And every now and then, when they do that, they'll bring out a casting that they've already brought out in the past, and they'll just recolor it. They don't do it very often, though. Um, and I'm not sure with Kyosho. I don't know how they do it. But I can tell you, they don't bring a lot of new stuff out in this scale very often. At least since I've started buying it, I've, you know, the only thing in the few months I've been buying this stuff, the only thing they've brought out that I know of are the Acura, the Acura NSX cars. And I, I think those are really limited, but yeah, this Porsche is just awesome. Love it. Um... Let's see here. I had some other cars. <clears throat> so back to the uh, luxury sedan theme. I think this car right here was actually the first Kyosho that I bought, or if it wasn't the first one, it was one of the first ones. Hang on a second. This is a Bentley Turbo R, and here's what I mean with when I say just a basic base. I don't care though, I'll take that base all day if the car looks this good. I mean, look at the wheels on this thing. The wheels, the trim, even the little Bentley logo behind the window there, the grill and the headlights. 
they really do not mess around. Just looks amazing. Now this car, unfortunately, when I was moving some stuff around, I put my Kyoshos in a jammer. I will never make that mistake again because two of my cars, this one and one of my GTRs, I lost the side view mirror. So very unfortunate because it is otherwise an amazing car, but now it has a big hole in the door. So that's a, that is a big bummer, but I mean, it's just an amazing car. It's a little work of art. All of these are. All nice die cast is. Actually, I mean, I'd almost consider all die cast art. Uh, here's another Bentley. This is the Masane. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but this is a huge car. It's about the length of the Auto World Eldorado. Or, uh, DeVille. It's about the length of the DeVille. It's a very long car. Um, I do love this car though. I mean they just do such a nice job with it. So classy looking. So clean. But I wish Kyosho would do more off-road stuff. More 4x4 stuff. They have done a few. Um, and I have a few. They've done the uh, the Toyota FJ. They've done the Land Cruiser. They've done the Mercedes G Wagon. Um, as far as I know, I think that's all they've done for four by fours. I really like collecting detailed four by fours. There just aren't many of them out there. And then the last car for this video. Another real basic base, just a flat, smooth base, is the McLaren 650S Coupe. This thing, to me, looks so much nicer than the P1. And the P1 is sharp looking. I actually had that one, but I sent that one off. But uh, the P1 is nice. I just, to me, I think I like this one a little bit better has a nice exotic look to it. I would love to see Kyosho do Koenigsegg. Um, I don't know <clears throat> in 1 to 64 scale where you can even get a Koenigsegg. Hot Wheels did one. It came out once on the in the retro entertainment line for Need for Speed. That's the only Koenigsegg I know of in this scale. So I know TLV doesn't do it. I know, you know, obviously Greenlight, Auto World, M2, Johnny Lightning, none of them do it. Probably never will. Hot Wheels, I don't know what's going on with their license for it, but they just brought it out the one time. And that thing looks good. The wheels look awesome. Compared to this one, which, you know, that's how wheels were back in the 80s. They weren't nearly as flashy. This one here would look pretty sharp too, I think. Gotta do the, the wheel test on the F40. Oh yeah. So that is a small sample of uh, my Kyosho collection, that's probably maybe a fourth or a fifth of it. But uh, they're all put away, so I may do another one or two more videos on those before I move. Um, 
but you know when I when I move it could be a while before I do videos after the move um, it may not be I don't know I hope it's not but it might be so I'm gonna plan on that so I'm gonna try to get as many videos made before the move as possible um, I've done from green light the Hollywood and the hot pursuit I'm still going to, or I also did the muscle video with uh, some of the exclusive cars and the road racers but I will be doing black bandit and country roads as well and probably a hitch and toe video um, when I pack those up those are probably gonna stay in the boxes when I move for a while um, they're hard to move um, packing those up and keeping them in mint condition without breaking a hitch off or a trailer jack you know that kind of stuff it's kind of a pain I was very successful last time I'm gonna use the same method but uh, here's another example of a car that's gonna be really hard to move just because of the utility rack on it um, moving sucks but it sucks so much worse when you collect die cast it's just a, it's an awful thing to have to go through so I'll do my best but I think uh, when I move I think a lot of the stuff is going to stay put away because when I get moved I'm not gonna be displaying much of it so I have a carny case I'm gonna put that on the wall I'll display some of the green machines probably some of the ultra reds some of the white lightning some of the chase car stuff and uh, I probably will display a decent amount of the Kyosho and the TLV just because that's uh, the stuff that I enjoy the most and probably actually a lot of the Johnny Lightning stuff will go on display too. I think right now that is probably my favorite brand, but that changes every couple months. Uh, it was Kyosho and TLV there for a while. Um, it was Johnny Lightning for a while six months ago, and it's Johnny Lightning again. So I don't know. This hobby is uh, it's irritating. I can't seem to decide it's like the hobby decides and I hate that when I'm not in control of it which is kind of my fault but it is a fun hobby die-cast cars are pretty fun I gotta figure out what's gonna happen with this diorama too I am NOT gonna keep it that much I have decided so I don't know if it's gonna go to Goodwill or if one of you local viewers of my channel want it you're more than welcome to it when I move I'm not moving until September um, so probably sometime in middle of August end of August we can arrange um, to meet up or whatever I can tell you though I'm gonna keep the trees and I'm keeping the gas station and I'm keeping the car dealership but if you want the table you can have the table which you know all you would have to do is go buy some trees and you can buy whatever building you want to put down if you want a gas station or a car dealership or you can buy whatever other building you want but uh, I won't charge you for it. You can just take it. It's a good table for uh, for this hobby. But had I had the buildings when I originally laid out the uh, diorama, I would have done it way differently. And so now that I'm moving, I just look at it as an opportunity to start over. But I don't want to have to buy buildings again because they're kind of pricey. I mean, those two buildings, that's like $110 just for those two. Or 100 
somewhere around there. And frankly, I'd rather spend that money on diecast. So. Anyways, there you go. Kyosho diecast. Some of the most detailed, awesome looking cars you can get in 1 to 64 scale. In a lot of cases, you know, maybe even more than half, they look as nice or nicer than TLV. Uh, they don't cross over on a lot of stuff, but they do on some. But uh, I don't know. They look as good to me. They look as good as TLB. They're a little bit less expensive. But, you know, with the TLB, you get the metal base. One car that comes to mind as we're looking at the Ferrari 599 is the, uh, the orange Nissan GTR. Because it's one of the few modern castings that TLB does. Most of those castings are more vintage, nostalgic castings. Uh, Kyosho does a decent amount of vintage castings, but they do a lot of modern stuff, too. And that's something that TLB really doesn't do. I would love to see them do that, but they seem to use their premium line for the more modern stuff, which is unfortunate because then you're not getting it with nearly as much of the detail. And you're getting plastic tires, which don't look as good. And they're not scaled at 1 to 64. They're usually 1 to 62 or 1 to 60. And uh, that's another nice thing about TLV is they are true to scale. I think Kyosho's are too for the most part. They don't claim that, but I think Tomica Limited Vintage and Auto World are the only two manufacturers that make that claim. As far as I know. So that's it. There you go. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I will holler at the next video.